Royal Release Stepping into a world where refinement meets exclusivity with the Davidov of Geneva. Their exceptional creation stands as a testament to Davidov's legacy of excellence, meticulously crafted for aficionados seeking the pinnacle of luxury in their smoking experience, unveiling an aura of prestige from the very first glance. The creation exudes sophistication with its flawless construction and a wrapper that speaks volume about the indulgence that lies within. Every aspect, from the exquisite appearance to the captivating aroma. Foreshadows the unparalleled journey this cigar promised to deliver. Embark in a sensory adventure as you savor the impeccable curated blend of aged tobaccos. A testament to the artistry and expertise of Davidoff Master Blenders. With each draw, your expectation will be layers of complexity unfold, revealing a symphony of flavor. To many others, the Davidoff Royal Release is not just a cigar, it's an embodiment of sophistication, a rarefied indulgent reserved for those who appreciate the finer things in life. Elevate every moment of leisure to a realm of luxury with this extraordinary creation, where every puff is an invitation to immerse yourself in an unparalleled refinement and elegance. At this hefty price tag, can this cigar live up to its name? This is the Davidoff Royal Release Double Review. Every single day Hey guys, Tony Soros Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Now we have a problem. This might be the last cigar review because given uh, how long I had to take to smoke this, this could take eternity. Yeah. So this is going to be a double review with uh, Smoke One. If you have one, Eric, it's like, yo, let's do a double cigar review on something nice. So I say, okay, what's it gonna be? Well, fuck. We're gonna do the Davidoff World Release Salomon. Yeah, as you can see how big this thing is, it's gonna take a eternity to smoke. Now, just a little hint how big this is. This is eight and a quarter by 57. Eight and a quarter by 57. And the average smoking time will be two hour plus. <sighs> Anyways, so let's take a good look of the cigar. Oh my God. It's not a cigar that you want to smoke with nothing to do because why? 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 All right, so wrapper Dominican Republic, binder Ecuadorian Habano, filler Dominican Republic. Oh, smells very good, very woodsy. It's woodsy and like raisiny. Now, if you gotta ask MSRP, I'm just had a. It's a box of 10, so take a zero off of it. It's $115 each before tax, MSRP. There you go. Oh, it has a little bit peppery too. So pepper, raisin, and woodsiness. Ah, ah, ah. All right, so. <clears throat> Royal Salomon. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Uh, I smoke quite a few of this. But I don't often smoke this size because this size is no joke. So let's see if I can find a little bit of information on this for you. Oh my God. They does, the, the usual Vitola that I smoke are the smaller one, which is the five and a half by 55. And uh, that's way more easier to consume than this. The box does look very good. But I don't even I don't buy a box of this, so you know this 
It's not something I usually go out and buy a box of. Okay. The Robusto is $80, but, you know, the price increased roughly 100 bucks now. Just to put it out there. Um, so, yeah. This is the Royal release. There's another thing called the David of Royal. But it's like a white band. So it's, you had to find it. You had to find it, right? Uh, this is the Royal release. There's another one called the Royal, which is slightly different. The Royal, let's see. The Royal is half the price, by the way. So if you get a Royal Robusto, it's 35 bucks. 35.40 MSRP. Uh, if you do the Royal release Robusto, like I said, it's roughly 100 right now. Okay? So... I don't know why they changed it. I don't have information on why, but... Smells really good. <laughs> Fun fact, when we went to Miami, <laughs> that's like the first cigar we smoke at night. At the Empire Lounge, I think that's what. Anyway, get a cut. Obviously, this is going to be no draw. I don't know how people get a dry draw when the like the bottom is closed up on this cigar. But with a little bit amount of the air that goes through. Hay. Raisin that I was talking about. Leather, very leather. Maybe bread. I want to say chocolate, but it's not really chocolatey. Cause like my tongue being like touching this wrapper is already spicy, so I can't really taste anything. So let's light this up and start smoking. Obviously, it's gonna take a little bit to get the sides to open it up. Very spicy to my tongue. Alright. Yep, I just puffing all the smoke from burning. It tastes just like burning. Now you can kind of taste cocoa. Coffee, leather, cedar. Hay. More leather. Flat paper box. Some sort of sweetness. That kind of go through, but not really. We'll have to wait until this thing opened up. So, let me smoke it for a little bit. Not necessarily one third. Once it's opened up, come right back. All right, now it's kind of opened up. Um, flavor. First of all, it's kind of hard to draw this. It's not a lot of air going through because how, how much tunnel or how long this cigar is. It takes quite a bit of wire from the moment that you take a draw to the smoke hitting you. So the smoke, by the time it gets you, it's kind of cool down, even though you know that you're trying to get it to burn. So that's one of the problem that this have in the beginning. You see, it takes a while, right? But once it opened up, cedar, sweetness, uh, leathery, 
it, it's got a lot of flavor going through, but you know, it, it gotta be patient. This this thing takes a while. It literally is a struggle for me until probably this part. So we're gonna slow sm smoke this very slow, but once you opens up, once this opens up, you slowly get more and more of the flavor. You slowly get that that aroma, the 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 concentration of the smoke to get through. And once it gets through, you are gonna get more flavor. So right now I'm showing you it's opened up, but you can see it's still burning uneven. It's still trying there. Um, I'm just gonna give it puff a little bit more. So in the beginning, like I say. There's some cocoa, there's some cedar, some hay, some leather, some sweetness, um, and maybe some coffee here and there. It's not a lot. And on the leaf where you're tasting, it's spicy. So the leaf itself is kind of spicy. And that's pretty much what we got right now. So let me smoke through one third, or roughly there. And. We'll come back and give that summary of like once he opened up and giving me smoke and all that stuff and really talk about this cigar because the cigar it's not cheap so because it's not cheap you got to treat it nicely like a royal like a royal releasing yeah i have no idea what i'm talking about i'll be right back so first third here we go finally got through Kind of a little bit still like i don't know my, i don't know why this particular one has such a small cap i didn't get to cut off a lot so the draw is limited but you know it's got the flavor it's got a little bit floralness now it's got a little bit of cedar it's got a little bit of um you know multitude of flavor but if you ever smoke the robusto size you'll realize that the robusto size is more concentrated it's better it's more bodied uh, the Royal uh, Salomon is actually a little bit more refined, elegant, lighter in a way. It's still a medium cigar, I can tell you that. But it's it's lighter, it's easier to handle. You just have to go through that easier to handle for two hours rather than one hour. Um, yeah, so far it's light in flavor. It's very, like I said, elegant, less punchy. Floral, sweetness, uh, woodsy, and a little bit of spicy. That's what you get for the first third. Now it takes a while to get there. It takes a while to get there. Now when I say while, I'm talking about 40 minute, 40 minute while. <laughs> Since I started it, recording, going back, lighting it up, smoking it. That took me roughly 35 minutes or 40 minutes to get to this point. So... I still have an hour and something because right now look at the size is about a toro. This is going to take me two hours. So yeah, let me slowly work this in. And I'll catch you in a little bit. Just look at the size. Oh, my mouth. Finally, two thirds of the way through. Wow. It's a chore, man. It's a chore. Woodsy, no, almost oaky. It's got a little bit of um, floral taste to it. Spicy at the back of the throat. Um, and that's pretty much it. Most of the notes are in the retro hill. It could be because I smoked too much already. My taste bud is kind of half dead, but you got to get most of the flavor through your nose. The retro hill is very important for the cigar. And yeah, and then you just continue to smoke through it. You know, here's the first band that says Royal Release with a golden R on it there you go it looks nice it stands out because the blue and gold kind of like the good com color combinations and matches the box and if you see the box you know what I mean blue and gold box right nicely lacquered beautiful decorated heavy box they have it all uh, in the decoration part but you know it is a very pricey cigar if you think about it even though even though you get like two hour, two and a half hour smoking time with it, uh, it almost feels like a chore, especially if you're reviewing it. It's a chore. So, yeah, at this point, I can honestly tell you $115 is a little bit too much for the cigar. Um, you know, when they first released at, you know, $80, $90, it's just about right. But, you know, with all this price re uh, increase and all that stuff, 
uh, it kind of jack up the price to you know I think originally this cigar was about 95 100 dollars something like that 99 and now you know 115 and more it's just you know it gets a little bit it's not a lot more but it's still it's hard to swallow if you know what I mean so um and honestly realistically amount of enjoyment I get out of this is roughly a $50 cigar I want to say 60 but no really it's a $50 cigar because I feel like it's a somewhat of a chore just smoke a cigar that long you don't get to break um well you could stop if you want to but you know it's not the same as like oh, I smoke one and leave come back for another cigar later that kind of stuff it's not that so that's my main issue with this cigar it's still enjoyable is elegant is smooth um a very small transition very small like there I think first there has a little bit more note second third kind of dies down a little bit and you know we'll get to the last third now like I say it's a chore uh, I've been here for one hour and 43 minutes this much left so let me finish this up we'll go to the summary look at the last band see you in like another hour finally this is what 9 10 11 two and a half two two hour and 44 minutes that took me that long to smoke this cigar this cigar is a torture this cigar is uh unless you're with a bunch of friends you know you gotta stay there for like three hours you just want to do one cigar it makes sense but if they're at home doing a review holy shit <laughs> it's not that enjoyable anyways i think the cigar is roughly 50 60 dollars with the enjoyment really to be honest like brutally honest I, I know it's cost more but you know calculating the box and decoration then yeah but a single cigar you only smoke it because you can not because it's that enjoyable to smoke two and two hours and 44 minutes out of it so i would not recommend people doing that and here is the top bin i like i say i do like this blue and um gold looking thing it is slightly different than their average white band is decked out fits the theme you know the box and everything royal blue so yeah but two hours and 40 something minutes that's I feel my lip is burned. I feel my taste bud is burned. Last year, there is a little bit more flavor, uh, but the, the taste no no different than the first year. It's just a little bit more flavor. But by then, your taste bud is so dead, only thing you can taste is through Retro Hill. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like You kind of have to really evaluate whether or not that's worth it to smoke a single cigar for that long. And luckily, they do make a Robusto, and I do highly recommend the Robusto because the Robusto, you probably get the same kind of experience, if not more, because the Robusto, uh, I feel the Robusto flavor is more punchier, more more of a flavor compared to this one. This one's lighter, but you can smoke longer. The other one is punchier, smoke a little bit less. And the because the Robusto is like, what, 80 bucks? It's closer to that $50, $60 range of enjoyment. This one, 115 you know you're paying double for the same amount of enjoyment if not torture right so for those people who were asking is the royal worth the money well technically yes if you buy the robusto in the entire box to collect and smoke yes solomon looks super sexy yes but it's intimidating to smoke it's not a simple cigar to smoke it's long ass time so i think the solomon is less of enjoyment there's actually more blank spots where you're just smoking, but you're not really tasting anything because it got so light some, somewhere in the uh, second third, uh, closer to the last third. You get a lot of blind spots. And, and, and that blind spot could be due to either your taste bud giving out or, uh, you know, just simply don't have a lot of flavor. So if you put that all in perspective, get the Robusto if you want to enjoy a Royal release stay away from the the, the Solomon because like I say too long to smoke your taste bud will blow up your um your lip will feel burn it takes a long time it takes a long time it takes a long time okay and yeah double ex double the price uh, technically right for the enjoyment so you got your sixty dollar worth in the first third and a little bit more into the second third but after that it's too long it's way too long for that so do the Robusto, skip the Solomon, 
you might enjoy a little bit more. So it's not a bad cigar. It's just the way it's arranged is a long ass time. It's like going to eat a long meal where you can finish the meal in 30 minutes, but it took it took three hours to give that meal. You know, you know what I'm saying? So that's that. And so this is this particular review. I can't even talk anymore. This is the, uh, the review for today. And uh, if you like it, like, subscribe, comment, share. If not, well, it is what it is, <laughs> as usual. So yeah, um, my next cigar needs to be a shorter cigar. Our next review is gonna be a shorter cigar. This, I hope I don't have to smoke something like this long to review a cigar every single time because, you know, but then again, I can't give you a full review if I don't smoke the last third, so. It is what it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.